stress like what is stress i've been really having to think about that word because this rosacea that's come up on my face is generally associated with stress and i was like gosh i really i'm like that's not what i do i'm really great at dealing with stress and handle on things that's really it really kind of threw me um also, you know, not understanding about you know, metaphysics and stuff to understand that the reason we our face alters um, like this is because we're afraid of being seen, we're maybe being vulnerable, and it's like masking us almost. Um, but anyway, stress. So we go to the doctor. If you ever go to the doctors, uh, did you know the doctors um, put eighty percent? Eighty. The GP would put eighty percent of your the problems that we go to the GP for, they put down to stress and they medicate for stress. Now, there is no medication for stress. There isn't, dude. But doctors put 80% down to things down to stress. In fact, there is only like, I think, 5%. I mean, the things that could actually be wrong could fill a little notebook and yet it's always stress and here's a pill for it. So stress is the symptom of a problem, as we know. Um, but even the, symptom, the the problem that causes stress is still a symptom because st stress is kind of so far down. It's such a huge, all-encompassing word. But what is happening to your body? Okay, so what what is basically the stress hormone? Stress hormone is cortisol. So really, if you want to kind of physiologically reduce stress and thus reduce the the results of the symptoms of stress the first port of call would be to reduce cortisol and um, now that is also um now cortisol is also quite um it's naturally um goes quite well with testosterone it's sort of a masculine emotion stress um and it can do other things to our body like retain tummy fat did you know that it can also keep tummy fat um there's quite a lot of things have a little look on the on the google web or the um or brave or whatever dot, dot, go whatever you look but have a little look under what um cortisol does but it's a stress the the stress hormone so if you can reduce stress you can reduce a lot of the symptoms of stress. Now, do you know one of the most incredible, most effective ways of reducing stress? First of all, it's moving. It's actually creating motion in your body, moving, moving things around your body. And then it's the elimination of the stories and the beliefs that are running your life. So if you can actually get your body moving and see how your brain is talking to you with the beliefs you're running and the stories you're telling and you can change the beliefs see them shift them change them and get your body moving your stress will come down and like i say 80 percent of the reasons people visit the doctor the doctor puts down to stress um and a huge amount, really, you stress. A huge amount of the feelings within you, like the busy brain, like the oh my god, the kids are getting, uh, the kids are getting crazy. All that is stress hormone building up, and stress creates more stress. And what else happens when the cortisol goes up? Do you want to know what happens? The dopamine, serotonin, and adrenaline go down. The testosterone goes down. Everything goes down because the, the, this stress hormone takes over. So if you have got a busy brain, if you're feeling stressed out, strung out, argh, there's two things you need to focus on. Moving your body and like dynamically, not just walking, not just running around after kids, but literally caring and dynamically moving your body and turning around the belief structures and the stories in your head. Can I just, a side note, that's what I do. Get in touch.